Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today we're gonna make a pasta that takes just 30 minutes to make. It has shrimp, it has a tomato creamy sauce that's creamy but light at the same time. It's awesome, you guys are gonna love it. So let's get started. First, you'll need about three quarters pound of pasta, one pound of shrimp that's been peeled, a medium to large shrimp is fine, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Then for this amazing sauce, we're gonna need some white wine, and you want that to be a drier white wine. Then some butter, about six medium tomatoes, some red pepper flakes to give it that extra zing, um, some green onion, fresh green onion, and then some fresh basil. And you can also use a little bit of dry basil instead if you don't have the fresh. And then one clove of garlic, we're gonna use just a half a cup of heavy cream, and it's so creamy and good, it's unbelievable. There's only half a cup in here. And then we're gonna garnish with some cheese. We're gonna start with cooking your pasta. So bring a large pot of water to a boil. And once it's out of boil, add some salt to the water. Got about a half a tablespoon there. And then drizzle the top with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And this really helps the pasta, um, keeps it from sticking together. So we're dumping about three quarters of a pound of pasta in. And you can use any kind of pasta you like. You can use alfredo or um, fettuccine. You can use spaghetti. I like angel hair the most, so that's what I'm using. So just cook that according to the package instructions. When it's done, you're gonna drain the pasta, give it a quick rinse, and just set it aside until you're ready to use it. Let's get started on the shrimp. This part's really quick and easy. So first you wanna preheat a large heavy bottom skillet over medium heat. Then we're gonna season our shrimp with a little bit of salt and pepper. Add two tablespoons of oil to your hot skillet then add the shrimp and put those in a single layer across the bottom of the pan. Now shrimp are quick to make. They only take about three minutes. So you don't wanna overcook the shrimp or they'll turn rubbery. So toss the shrimp at least once in between and it should be done in about three minutes. Once the shrimp are cooked, take them out of the pan and set them aside. Now let's move on to the creamy tomato sauce. So start out by chopping your tomatoes. We're gonna chop these into about dice. Now we're gonna chop the basil and the green onion. Now we're gonna add all the sauce ingredients except for the heavy cream, just right into that hot skillet. Start with four tablespoons of butter, your chopped tomatoes, green onions, your basil, then we're gonna add in one pressed garlic clove, your red pepper flakes, and your one cup of white wine. And we're gonna cook that down till you have about a fourth of a cup of liquid left in the pan. All right, you can see the liquid is almost evaporated. Our tomatoes are nice and soft. Now we can add the half a cup of heavy cream. and stir in your cooked shrimp. Now toss in your cooked pasta and just stir everything to combine. Season with a little more salt and pepper if needed and then serve with some Parmesan. All right, and this is best hot, so serve it right away. Oh goodness, this looks so good. And I'm hungry, baby's hungry. This little lady loves pasta, I already know it. She's anything like her mother. Hey, we wanna add lots of shrimp. This is after all shrimp pasta. And then we're gonna top it with tons of cheese. I like to get it on there while the pasta is still hot so the cheese can melt onto there. Then maybe some fresh tomatoes for garnish. Add some fresh basil, just to pretty it up a little bit. And that's it. Now the taste test. 
All right, we're gonna start with a little bit of pasta. Mm. Creamy but light. And then the shrimp. Oh, it's wonderful. The white wine just really brings everything together. You guys are gonna love this pasta. It's no wonder it's one of the most pinned recipes on my site. I had to include one of those, otherwise this video would be a little dry, huh? <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this. Thank you all so much for watching my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to get all my future videos. And uh, hope you enjoyed spending time with me in my kitchen. Thanks for watching.